Season 13's Gary's Playhouse is another banger of a season 13 episode, like season 13's got that good good. Here, I'm not going to give you guys like a plot summary, but here's just a quick little compilation of funny moments in the episode. The cutest thing I've ever seen. Dude, like I said, this episode is a good one. Go and watch it if you get a chance. But before that, here's one mistake from this episode. I'm gonna go easy on this episode because it's a good episode, but there is one mistake. Take a look at this. SpongeBob! Squidward! Where were you two yesterday? <laughs> Mr. Krabs. All right, so the galley grub menu, right? We were talking about the Krabby Patty spelling before, but what if the entire menu was just missing in a shot? Well, that's exactly what happens in Gary's Playhouse during this one scene right here. As as you can see, the galley grub menu is just gone. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe, uh, maybe the Krusty Krab is moving into mobile orders or something, you know? Uh, I'm showing an image of these like little kiosks at McDonald's. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe Mr. Krabs, he's ahead of the curve, but I think they just forgot to draw the galley grub menu and uh yeah that's a bit of a mistake guys don't tell anyone all right a great fortune has fallen upon you <laughs> did you hear that gary the fortune is true let's look at your future happy trails will follow you always <gasps> your fortune came true too we've been talking about a bunch of older spongebob episodes in today's video episodes from like season two three six seven eight but it's time for some modern spongebob some widescreen so let's talk about the episode lame and fortune here's the first mistake <laughs> Enjoy your new fortune cookies, Krabs! La, 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 la. Time for a refill! My tentacles are gonna fall off if I don't get a break soon, Mr. Krabs! Yeah, so in the scene right after SpongeBob takes Plankton's fortune cookies, the character Lenny, this guy right here, is shown without his suit on in the wide shot. For a majority of this episode, he's wearing his suit. But in this one shot, his suit just isn't there. They just forgot to draw it. And then, in the next shot, the next scene where Squidward asks for a break, look, dude is back in his suit again. So he was wearing his suit, then he wasn't wearing the suit, and now the suit is back on. Like, don't get me wrong, Wrong. the suit is fresh but let's have some continuity here Nickelodeon this was a mistake and that's still not it guys I've got one more mistake for this episode eat your hat and you will fall in love <laughs> 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 Cookie. You need the eyes of a hawk to catch this one, and hopefully you guys did catch this one because it's kind of a classic mistake. This has happened many times. So, when Incidental 114 and Incidental 115 are dancing, look at them, they've got the moves. Take a look at the Galley Grub menu, as it's spelt as G-A-L-L-Y grub, when it's supposed to be G-A-L-L-E-Y grub. So, another mistake there. You're gonna pass that driving test, SpongeBob, because you're a winner. I'm a winner. Who's a winner? I'm a winner. Who's a winner? I'm a winner. Who's a winner? I'm a winner! I'm a winner! I'm a winner! One minute, 37 seconds later. Next up is the season four episode, Driven to Tears, an episode all about Patrick getting his license before SpongeBob. Like what? This episode has a bad mistake, but before that, here are some funny clips from this episode. The episodes are really good. Let's just go home, Patrick. We're not going anywhere until I get to the bottom of this. I'm taking that test myself. No, Patrick, I've been training for years. I'll eat you alive. I passed my test! You got a perfect score? Yeah! I thought you said it was hard. Perfect score? How do I look? Like a winner. Ready? Ready! Huh? Come 
Congratulations, Mr. Star. You're the one millionth person to pass the test. You get a brand new boatmobile, the new Bass Blaster 3000. The ultimate boating machine. Yeah, this is the greatest day ever, right, SpongeBob? Right, Patrick. I can't think of one thing that would make this day better. Except maybe getting my license. Yeah, Patrick getting his license. That sounds pretty concerning, but what's more concerning is the mistake in this episode. Roll the clip. Boy, driving is so easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> hi, Bobby. Hi, Daddy. Patrick, how many times do we have to tell you we're SpongeBob's mom and dad? What? I'm an orphan? Oh, but guess what? I passed my driver's test! That's great, Patrick. SpongeBob failed his test, so don't mention it. Did you catch it? Well, pay close attention during this scene. So as Patrick and SpongeBob are driving, you can see that he's wearing these red gloves. But literally seconds later, when we get a close-up of Patrick's license, and we can see Patrick's hands, the gloves are just gone. Seconds before, he was wearing them, but in this one shot, where are they? I guess the animators just forgot to draw them during the close-up. We're gonna make this your best day ever! Kicking things off, let's head back to where it all began, Spongebob Season 1, with the episode Jellyfishing, an iconic episode. This episode's so much fun. It really brings me back to my younger years, but what I missed as a kid were the mistakes in this episode. Here's the first one. There's one in position. Go! 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 I think we better show him how it's done. Okay, so for this one to really make sense, I need to remind you guys of a big part of this episode. So as you can see, Squidward's in this giant cast. And in order for him to hold his jellyfishing net, SpongeBob and Patrick do this. Take a look at this clip real quick. Patrick, fix him up while I find him a good specimen. Firmly grasp it in your hand. Firmly grasp it! <laughs> that ought to do it. Ouch. But as you can see, it's like stuffed into Squidward's hand. He isn't actually holding it. It was like stabbed into this dude's hand. So he wouldn't be able to change which hand he's holding it in. Well, that's exactly the mistake. As if you watch throughout the episode, the jellyfishing net changes hands multiple times, despite this not really being possible. Again, it was like stabbed into this dude's hand, which ouch, that would really hurt. But more importantly, dude wouldn't be able to change the hand that's holding the jellyfishing net. So a mistake here. And here's another one from this iconic episode. This guy's good. He's a natural. See what you've been missing? Yeah, you got to go 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 Hey, Patrick. I had fun. Me too. Here comes Squidward. Hey, Squid! How about that? Best day ever. This next one is an audio error, so you guys need to listen closely and watch closely. All right? It's important. When SpongeBob says, hey, Patrick, if you look closely, SpongeBob's mouth is, of course, supposed to be the mouth that moves and syncs to the audio saying, hey, Patrick. But again, if you watch closely, it's actually Patrick's mouth that syncs to what SpongeBob says. So we hear SpongeBob's iconic voice say, hey, Patrick, but look at Patrick. He's the one who's actually mouthing it, which is an error because we don't hear any of Patrick's voice at all. Hey, Patrick. Audio mistakes in SpongeBob are weird. They're kind of funny, but yeah, let's keep it moving and head over to another episode, guys. Stay tuned because I'm saving some of the craziest mistakes for the ending of the video. All right, next episode, let's go. This is the Bikini Bottom Triangle. Looks more like a dump. SpongeBob Season 7 has a lot of hit or miss episodes, but the episode Welcome to Bikini Bottom Triangle is actually pretty good. It's one of the stronger episodes out of the season. Here, take a look for yourself. Take a look at some of these hilarious gags from the episode. Hey, where's my alarm clock? <gasps> 
Your shell is gone too? Where's your dad? I don't know. When I went to get my allowance this morning, he was gone. So, you lost your cufflinks, eh? They're probably in the Bikini Bottom Triangle. The Bikini Bottom Triangle? The triangle must have taken Mr. Krabs. We gotta find him. Maybe Mr. Krabs is doing his morning dumpster dive for a loose change. Mr. Krabs, are you out here? <laughs> Squidward? Okay, it is mistake time, guys. Here's mistake number one. Put your mistake glasses on and let's find it together. Oh, your Krabby Patty meter's on empty. We gotta get a Krabby Patty into you quicker. Krabby Patty. That was the single best Krabby Patty I have ever eaten. Wait, thank you, boyo. Wait a minute. I didn't make that Krabby Patty. And you didn't make that Krabby Patty. So it must have been that rotten pig. Squeak plankton! It happens really, really, really fast. But when Mr. Krabs says, so it must have been that rotten pipsqueak plankton, this man seriously has beef with plankton, but when he says it, take a look at our favorite crab's left sleeve as it turns red. It turns to the same color as his skin. Young lady, <laughs> we're selling chocolate. Is your mother home? Mom! What? What? What's all that yelling? First up is the season three banger, Chocolate with Nuts. If you don't know this episode, then you're living under a rock like Patrick. I love this episode and it has some mistakes. Here's the first one. Good afternoon, sir. Could we interest you in some chocolate? Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Yes, sir. With or without nuts. Chocolate? Chocolate! 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 So take a close look at Incidental 6 over here, as when he says, did you say chocolate? His eyes are yellow and his tongue is red, as you can see here, all right, Incidental 6. However, literally in the next shot, not only are his eyes now green, as you can see here, but his tongue is also pink. The tongue color change isn't that big of a deal, but how do you go from yellow to green eyes? And there's more. This episode has another mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot it. If we keep exaggerating the truth, We'll be fancy living in no time. <laughs> this guy will feel so sorry for us. He'll have to buy all of our chocolate. What can I do for you boys? I was born with glass bones and paper skin. Every morning I break my legs. At night, I lie awake in agony until my heart attacks put me to sleep. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Grapple Gang, listen closely as this one is very detailed, okay? So, when SpongeBob and Patrick encounter the con man for the third time, we can see this staircase to his front door right here. And what's important is that it only has three steps. Remember this, okay? Staircase right here, and it only has three steps. But moments later, when the con man eventually falls down this same staircase, it's the same staircase, it now magically has like 10 steps. Like, what? Did he renovate the staircase? in between shots because this is totally a mistake. First it had three steps and now it has 10 steps. So yeah, a mistake. And let's keep it moving and head over to another cartoon with more mistakes, guys. Stay tuned. You're not going to believe them. <laughs> Please make an end! Huh? Huh? How are you enjoying the music so far? It's delightful! The next episode we're talking about is pretty interesting, and you can tell just by the name, which is Sweet and Sour Squid. It actually sounds kind of tasty, like Sweet and Sour Squid, but I mean, poor Squidward. Anyways, though, here's the first mistake. Hey, give it back! I was just reaching my coda! The shrill piercing racket of your fish flute is frightening away me money! None like of you simpletons would recognize real musical talent if it came up and kicked you in the face! Hey, that happened to Patrick once too! He
None of you know a great musician when you hear him! Were you guys able to catch that one? Well, when Squidward runs out of the Krusty Krab right here, take a look inside the Krusty Krab. As you can see in this shot, normally Squidward works at this workstation right here, a boat with a cash register. And then there's like the order window behind it. But as Squidward runs out of the Krusty Krab in this scene, that workstation is just missing. Poof, it's gone. Where'd it go? What's going on, man? I don't even know how the animators missed that, because take a look at this shot from the first episode. Like, it's been there since the beginning. But anyways, let's head over to another episode. Let's go, baby! Oh, just the back! Ah, uh, the, the very good Sir Urchin, sir! And quack! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Why you? What I thought! <laughs> Next up is a quick one from Spongebob Season 13, the most recent Spongebob season. I can't believe it's almost done. But anyways, the episode is Sea Urchin and Snail Fail, and here, take a look at the mistake. Let's get right into it. If only we had a real stage to perform on. If only I had a real stage to act on. Extra, extra! Big Bikini Bottom Talent Show tonight on a real stage! Yay! I smell a reunion! Were you guys able to catch it? This one's pretty blatant, but at first, when we see this character right here, Morty, he is yellow, all right? He's, he's very yellow. But then when the dude pops up again, he's not the right color. He's purple now, which is totally a mistake. I think normally he is purple, but the fact that he just randomly changes colors throughout the episode is uh, is pretty rough. That's a mistake. And let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. <laughs> ah, my first victim. I mean, customer. <laughs> May I help you find something, young lad? Oh, no thanks. I'm just window shopping. <laughs> okay, I guess I lied a little bit because the next mistake is actually from Camp Coral, not SpongeBob, but I mean, come on, it's, it's the same thing. Because this show is 3D animated though, there is not a lot of mistakes in it because it's not like 2D animation, right? But I was able to find one in the episode of Boo Light Special. Here, take a look at this. Let's see if you guys can catch the mistake on your own. It has to do with the jar full of money. <laughs> One sunblock. Uh, what about my change? That goes right in the jar. <laughs> This one is incredibly hard to spot because you kind of need to see the footage in slow motion. But when the cabin shakes and the money jar spills, money can be seen falling in mid-air even before the jar is actually tipped over. Here, I'm looping it and showing it in slow motion. And as you can see, that money is falling already before the jar has even tipped over, which is totally a 3D animation glitch. Believe it or not, this is probably like the worst mistake in Camp Coral. And again, it's due to it being 3D animated, so it's easier, but yeah, totally a mistake. And there's more. Let's keep it moving and head over to another episode, gang. Let's do it. When you write these stories, you gotta use a little imagination, boy. Imagination. Yeah. Maybe instead of man watches pole, you could say something like, oh, Man, Mary's pole. We talk a ton about SpongeBob season one, two, and three, or seasons like 11, 12, and 13 on this channel all the time. But let's go smack dab right into the middle with season six, the episode being the Krabby Chronicle, an episode all about a crusty crab newspaper. It's wild. What we're really here to talk about though, guys, is what you guys clicked on the video for are the spicy mistakes in this episode. Roll the footage and let's see if you guys can spot it. Well, gee, Mr. Krabs, I've written about everyone in town. Any ideas, sir? Surprise me! Give me a shocker! Oh, the wildest story ever, huh? How's it going, lad? It's a surprise! Did you catch it? Well, after Mr. Krabs leaves his office for the night and SpongeBob begins typing on the press, take a look at Mr. Krabs' office door, okay? It's right behind SpongeBob. This is important. It's right there. You can see it. It's right there. But in the very next shot, um, where is it? Where did the door go? Did like Mr. Krabs have renovations in a matter of like 30 seconds? I don't think so. I think the animators drew the door, as you can see here. But then in this scene, they forgot to draw it. And just like, how do you even do that? But anyways, here's another mistake. What a 
a money testicle day, eh, Mr. Squidward? Yeah, I'm just raking it in. I'm excited about all the newspaper sales, too! This next mistake is very similar to the last one, as when Mr. Krabs is walking up to the Krusty Krab, take a look at this poster of a Krabby Patty on the window. It looks delicious, I would love a Krabby Patty, but more importantly, the poster, remember that this poster is right here. As when Mr. Krabs eventually enters the Krusty Krab, the poster that we just seen is just gone now, it's vanished, it just, uh, it doesn't exist anymore, which is another continuity error, guys. You know, continuity errors aren't that bad, I'll admit, but they're still a mistake, and guys, we've got more mistakes coming up. Let's keep it moving. Everybody wants to get jacked. Yeah, jacked! I really think we should go back to serving Krabby Patties. Uh, people love the... Mr. Krabs, you can't take that check. We're not high-class caterers. We are anything we need to be for me to make this money. Unless you want to go back to the kids' party. <laughs> Mr. Krabs has had many different businesses over the years, and in the episode Krusty Catering, he starts, as you can guess based off of the title, a catering service for the Krusty Krab. It's pretty interesting. It's not a bad business idea. Here, take a look at how it goes. There's no way these people are gonna think our junk food is high class. Hmm, you might be right. SpongeBob, go find something to fancy up the food. Fancy, got it, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I want my fancy cake! Neptune's ghost! I want my cake! I want my cake! I got your cake. You did? Yeah, yeah. Your birthday cake is right through here. What do you think of this, Mr. Krabs? I call it Krabby Pate. SpongeBob, were those jewels on the patties? Yeah, you said fancy up the food, so I found some shiny stuff for garnish. Got a whole box. What the? SpongeBob, you can't just go around taking people's precious jewels. Get your fancy foods here. <laughs> Delicious! Like I said, not a bad idea, Mr. Krabs, aside from the little kids. But anyways, let's get into the mistake from this episode. <laughs> And I believe I let you talk me into this. Catering is a great way for you to make a little extra money. For me to make a lot. So take a look at this plankton pinata right here. It's kind of funny that for the catering, like when Mr. Krabs is taking care of kids, he uses a plankton pinata. That way the kids beat up plankton. It's really funny to me. But anyways, this plankton pinata is supposed to be here during this shot. But as Mr. Krabs is getting out of the crusty catering truck, the pinata is just not there. But then in the very next shot, it just magically reappears. So first, it isn't there, and they don't set it up or anything in between, as in the very next shot, it's just magically there now. Talk about a weird mistake, guys. It seems they just forgot about drawing the pinata at first, but whatever. Let's keep it moving and head over to yet another episode with more spicy, crazy, unbelievable mistakes. Get your presents for everyone and put them under the pool. And we're all expecting better gifts this year, big brother. They better better be awesome. The episode Just In Time For Christmas has two sneaky mistakes. I'm gonna show you guys the clips with audio. Let's see if you guys can spot the mistake on your own. Comment them. That kid stole my laser phaser. That kid stole my cat too. He stealing. <laughs> hey, happy holidays, time travelers. Gifts for us? Oh, you didn't have to do the it's what I always wanted. Thank you, Patrick. Okay, so for those who are new to the Patrick Star Show, this character right here, his name is Grandpat. And as you can guess, he's Patrick's grandfather, I mean, obviously. And as you can see in this shot right here, he always rocks these fresh blue pants. He wears them all the time, even back in his debut episode. But during this one scene in Just In Time For Christmas, there is a major error revolving around his pants, as when Patrick gives this pterodactyl character a gift, the animators messed up big time, as Grandpat's pants blend in with the feathers of the pterodactyl, and they're the wrong color. Grandpa's pants are supposed to be blue, as I showed you, but in this one shot, they're like a reddish, like brown, and that is totally a mistake. A bad one, too. And there's more in this episode. Here's mistake number two. Ooh, it's an electric razor from the future, Dad. Hey! 
Wow! I hope it's not another chewed up candle. A dinosaur egg? I haven't had a pterodactyl omelet since I was a cave boy. Merry Christmas, Mom! <laughs> a new tattoo? <gasps> How did you know? I love your gift, big brother. I'm calling him Maurice. I've already taught him a few tricks. <laughs> understand is where you got all the money to pay for these extravagant gifts. This one's a bit easier to miss, but when Squidina gives Maurice a treat, if you watch really closely and slow down the footage, the treat actually disappears for a frame before Maurice actually eats it. I'm showing the footage in slow motion and I'm circling it. And yeah, that treat just disappears. It poofs away. It goes bye-bye before it's actually eaten. So another mistake. Stay tuned though, guys. Let's head over to another cartoon episode with wild mistakes. <laughs> Patrick, you're not really not my friend. It's just opposite day! Opposite day? Hey, I've heard of that! You have? No! What is it? So kicking things off, our first episode of today is Opposite Day, a classic episode from season one. Take a look at these clips. That's it! I'm moving out of this neighborhood! I can sell your home in a heartbeat! Oh, that's great news! As long as it's not infested with nematodes, or surrounded by troublesome neighbors or something like that. Oh, sure, there's none of that. Did you say neighbors? No one will ever buy my house with him living next door. Whatever a good neighbor would do, he does the opposite. <laughs> opposite. Op opposite. So first things first, take a look at this. This is Squidward's iconic house, all right? We've seen it thousands of times before, even back in season one. Now, more importantly, I want you guys to focus on the ear of his house. I know that sounds kind of weird, as it looks like this, all right? And as you can see, there is no window on this ear. Well, in opposite day, during this one scene right here, take a look at this, as for one scene, there's randomly this like magical, random, mysterious window on Squidward's house that just doesn't really exist in any other episode. It's kind of funny, like this is how Squidward's house normally looks, and then this is how it looks in this scene, and just, yeah, that window doesn't exist. And stay tuned, as the next mistake we're gonna be talking about is Wild Boy. It's crazy, so let's move on over there. <laughs> ah, my first victim. I mean, customer. <laughs> May I help you find something, young lad? Oh, no thanks. I'm just window shopping. <laughs> okay, I guess I lied a little bit because the next mistake is actually from Camp Coral, not SpongeBob, but I mean, come on, it's, it's the same thing. Because this show is 3D animated though, there is not a lot of mistakes in it because it's not like 2D animation, right? But I was able to find one in the episode of Boo Light Special. Here, take a look at this. Let's see if you guys can catch the mistake on your own. It has to do with the jar full of money. <laughs> One sunblock. Uh, what about my change? That goes right in the jar. <laughs> This one is incredibly hard to spot because you kind of need to see the footage in slow motion. But when the cabin shakes and the money jar spills, money can be seen falling in mid-air even before the jar is actually tipped over. Here I'm looping it and showing it in slow motion, and as you can see that money is falling already before the jar has even tipped over, which is totally a 3D animation glitch. Believe it or not, this is probably like the worst mistake in Camp Coral, and again it's due to it being 3D animated, so it's easier, but yeah, totally a mistake. And there's more. Let's keep it moving and head over to another episode, gang. Let's do it. What kind of resort is this? Where's the entertainment? Oh, well, uh, you are absolutely right, sir. <laughs> Presenting the SpongeBob Follies. Boring. 
This next one is spicy, and it takes place in a very underrated episode, that being Patrick's staycation. I feel like nobody really talks about this episode, and while it isn't the best episode, it does have some really good moments, just like this. Take a look. Welcome to Star Rock Inn, sir. My name is Todd. Can I check you in? May I take your bags, Mr. Star? Oh, I don't have any bags. Oh. Follow me, sir. Your room is right this way. I'm not sure I like the way this room is arranged. Arranged? Mr. Star, are you sure about this? It's an interesting episode, right? Now, let's dive into the mistakes, what you guys have been waiting for, what you guys clicked on the video for. Here is mistake number one. One Krabby Patty coming up. You are smoking. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. No. No, you're really smoking. What? <laughs> Oh no, the Krabby Patty! <coughs> Mr. Star, your meal is ready. Patrick, where is he? So I'll admit, this mistake is a bit of a nitpick on my end. It isn't that big of a deal. But when SpongeBob gets out of the burned Krabby Patty, his chef suit had no sleeves. Seems harmless, right? Well, this is kind of a mistake, as in every other shot of this episode when SpongeBob is wearing his fresh chef suit over here, it has sleeves. It always has sleeves, but in this one shot, the sleeves are just missing. I mean, like I said, not that big of a deal, but somewhat of a mistake here. This next one, though, trust me, this one is spicy. Oh, Patrick! Patrick, what have you done to yourself? I've been waking up, eating, sleeping. Waking up, I need a break from the hustle and bustle of my everyday life. I'm so exhausted. Please help me. Pal, what you need is a vacation. That's it! Did you guys catch it? Well, when SpongeBob says, Pat, what you need is a vacation, take a look at our favorite sponge's eyes, as one of his blue eyes turn white for an entire split second. Normally, SpongeBob looks like this and has these beautiful deep blue eyes. He's so handsome. But for this one shot for just about a second, SpongeBob's eyes are tweaking, dude. It's just white. I don't think somebody's eye would just be entirely white. That's uh, that's not how it works. I was sincerely hoping that today might finally be the day Yes, Eugene? Did I steal a little kiss? Come here, you. Oh, what a woman. Oh, Eugene. Now, I personally really like this next episode. I think it's like a solid episode in terms of modern SpongeBob, and that's Whirly Brains. An episode all about like a crazy toy, dude. I would never play with this toy personally. Here, I'm gonna show some clips really quickly. Would you guys play with this toy? Well, say goodbye to boring and hello to Whirly Brains, the exciting new toy that puts you in the driver's seat of your own mind. Just flip your lid, attach the propeller, and watch your brain soar hundreds of feet into the air! Okay, Patrick, just let me flip your lid so I can attach the propeller directly to your brain. It's time to free our minds. I've never seen the world from this angle before. Okay, it's mistake time, all right? Enough about Whirly Brains toys. We're here for mistakes, and here's the first one. I want you guys to try and spot this one without me telling you. This one is just really funny, but when this fish right here on the right, this incidental character right here, drinks his tea, the tea actually overlaps him. The tea should be going like into his mouth, but as you can see here, it's overlapping his mouth, guys, which in terms of 2D animation is not correct. For example, take a look at the pink or purple fish over here and how the glass is like touching their lips. That's how it should look. Not a big deal, but it's still a mistake, guys. It's still a mistake. And there's more. Take a look at this one right here. Hey, where's Squidward? I'm sure I saw him in here. Did you fall in? Squidward! Stop serenading me, you sap! It's my day off! Now go away! Oh, man! That's him! Hi, Squidward! Invasion! 
So this one is a continuity error, as when Squidward sees Plankton's brain floating up and down, he screams out, aliens from Mars, while wearing his signature shirt. All right, look at him, he's looking fresh, he's looking dapper. But then, literally in the next shot, like seconds later, guys, like a couple seconds later, he is now naked and not wearing a shirt. Which, hey, zero complaints here, but if dude was wearing a t-shirt in this one shot, seconds later, he should still be wearing the t-shirt. Like, I highly doubt Squidward was so scared of Patrick's brain that he took his shirt off. So yeah, this was another mistake. And guys, let's keep the video moving. I've got more. Yeah. Oh. oh no, a delicious Krusty Krab disaster. I am going to give you the Krusty Krab customer service pledge of satisfaction. As a matter of fact, I'll clean all your offices and all your cubicles, courtesy of the Krusty Krab. I'm going to make this next section quick. It takes place in the season 11 episode, Krusty Cleaners, and it has to do with this microwave, so pay close attention. SpongeBob, why is this happening? Um, look, you garbage can thing. I don't know what we did to you, but I made a Krusty Krab pledge to your boss to clean these offices. No! <laughs> oh, my rump is roasting! <laughs> Some of you guys probably caught it, but for those who didn't, throughout this entire episode, this microwave right here has like a black outline on the rim of its microwave door, okay? You can see it in this shot right here. But for some random reason, this is the most random mistake ever, guys. When Trashbot attempts to burn Patrick, poor Patrick, he almost became a cooked starfish. But yeah, when he tries to burn Patrick, we can see that the outline on the door of the microwave is white randomly. I don't know what happened here. First it was black, now it's white. I don't know, weird mistake. Let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. <laughs> Thankful I didn't turn you into gelato. <laughs> Good one, boss. Aw, no more patty whips. The Goob Father is a fairly good season 13 episode that only debuted like a week or two ago. Like this episode is fresh, boy, and I've got its biggest mistake. Roll the footage. <laughs> open for anything worth sabotaging. Hey, you! Help me! Help swirl with extra sprinkles. Coming up, double K swirl and make it snow. <laughs> Now, I'm pretty sure that some of you guys were able to catch this one as it's a very classic style of a SpongeBob mistake. As during this scene where SpongeBob makes an ice cream cone and gives it to somebody, take a look at our favorite sponge's teeth as they turn yellow for a single frame. Like, dude, go brush your teeth. This is a very common mistake in SpongeBob. And don't worry, guys, I've got lots of crazier mistakes coming up. But there's actually another mistake in this scene as a small part of SpongeBob's body is not colored in, as you can see right here. I'm zooming in. Two mistakes in one scene. Overall, though, The Goop Father is a good episode, so go watch it. But let's head over to another episode with more mistakes that you will not believe. Trust me. Randy says the rodeo's come to town. I've got to head back to Texas and defend my championship title. Championship title? For what? You got cotton in your ears. Mm, no, it's not cotton. It's actually an old moldy piece of Krabby Patty. Oh, up next is the Season 7 episode, Rodeo Days, an episode where Spongebob has to save Sandy. But what I'm going to do is save you guys from watching the episode and just show you the mistakes. Here's the first one. Good morning! Sandy's in trouble, and I need all of your help to save her from the horrors of the rodeo! The next time you invite me to one of your slumber parties, I'm calling the cops! <laughs> So as you guys know, all of the bikini bottomites and SpongeBob and Patrick and Squidward get stuck in this bubble that SpongeBob's house is in. Now, at one point, we see Squidward walk to get out of SpongeBob's house within the bubble. And as you can see, he's rocking these fresh pajamas, all right? Our boy is looking fresh. He's dripping. Look at those pajamas. But eventually, when Squidward falls out of the bubble, he now just magically has his typical clothes on. This would have been impossible because Squidward was like trapped in the bubble and he was wearing 
his pajamas, as you can see here, he wouldn't have been able to go to his house, change, come back in the bubble, be trapped again, and then fall out. So this was a continuity error. And there's more. Here's another mistake from this episode. Hot Patrick, do you hear something? It's a letter for Sandy, all the way from Texas. We better deliver it. Sandy! Oh, it's not opening. I have something that might help. How to open things. Brilliant, Patrick! Now, this one is very hard to catch. You gotta pay close attention, okay? But after SpongeBob says, it's not opening, there is a white spot that flashes for a split second under his right arm. Not that big of a deal, I'll admit, but it's still there and it's still a bit of an animation mistake. A very forgivable one, but hey, it's still a mistake. And guys, there's one more in this episode, but stay tuned as the next episode has a wild mistake. Watch out! That old bullfrog's got a flea on its flanks and he's coming right at you! Did we save Sandy? No, Patrick. We didn't. Did we make any money? This one is just like really funny, okay? So hear this one out. As we've seen in the episode, SpongeBob and all of these sea creatures are not able to breathe in Texas because they're sea creatures. They need to be in water or they die. I mean, we even see what happens to them in Tea at the Tree Dome with Sandy when SpongeBob and Patrick go in the tree dome without helmets. They like almost die. This is a big part of SpongeBob lore or canon, but if you watch the episode Rodeo Days, SpongeBob and all of the sea creatures, despite not being able to breathe in Texas just continue to live their lives normally as if there's nothing wrong. These guys would die. But anyways, let's head over to another episode, guys. These upcoming mistakes are going to blow your mind. From this moment on, whenever this air horn blows, Rampat will swap places with Patrick. Now let's test it out with Patrick's classic coconut comedy bit. I want a coconut! I want a coconut! I want a coconut! Hey, let's talk more about the Patrick Star Show. More specifically, the latest episode, Stuntin. This is a pretty good episode if you ask me. This episode only has one mistake, but it's actually pretty bad if you understand the characters of SpongeBob. Here, take a look for yourself. Yay! Death match! Today I'm going toe to toe against Bare Knuckles the Sea Bear! Sea Bear? Hmm. Where? To a clean, fair fight. Oh! 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 Sea Bear's tearing him to shreds! This one is really bad. Normally, the character Squidina has four legs, okay? As you can see in these shots. Four legs and two arms, okay? It's always been like this ever since the first episode of the Patrick Star Show. But if you watch closely when Squidina rotates the cap back onto her air horn, she has two legs instead of four. Like I said, in these shots, as you can see, she's supposed to have four legs. But in this shot, the animators were feeling a little lazy as they only drew her with two. Talk about a mistake and there's more guys. Let's head over to another episode. Lots of mistakes in today's video. And here we have some more traditional club nog dishes. Hundred year old bread. <laughs> Next up is a quick one from the Patrick Star Show episode, Klopnodian Heritage Festival. Roll the footage and pay attention to Cecil over here as the mistake has to do with him, more specifically his face. This is the Flopsweet Lodge. Now, let us perspire. <laughs> What's the matter, son? Go ahead and sweat. I can't do it. It seems uh, the boy is sweat shy. Would you mind turning away? Phew! <laughs> 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 
It only happens for one frame, so it's very easy to miss. But when Cecil over here talks to these older men in the flop sweat lodge, dude's entire mustache turns blue for a whole frame. Like what? It's not supposed to be blue. This is how Cecil normally looks. It's supposed to look like this. But for this one frame, dude's mustache is blue. It looks fresh. I guess he's like, he's like an emo kid. He dyed his mustache blue. You know what I'm saying? He, anyways, let's move over to another episode with more mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in hot is another season 13 episode, Swimming Fools, which only premiered I think in the last month, so it's another fresh one. This episode's actually pretty good, so here, before we get into the mistakes, here's some hilarious clips from this episode. <laughs> I can't let them find me here! Oh, I can't wait to get wet! Where's the pool toys? <laughs> oh, not the pool shed, not the pool shed, not the pool shed. They're in the pool shed, silly. You can pick first. Hmm. Which toy, which toy, which toy? I'll take this big, <laughs> ugly one. Out the way! Out the way! No! Was the pool toy, you idiots! You know, I feel like season 13 needs some more praise. There's a lot of really good episodes in season 13. It isn't perfect, but Swimming Fools is a good one. It does have one mistake though. And I'll admit, this one's really easy to miss, but once you catch it, it's actually like a pretty bad mistake. I don't know how they missed it. If you're just a regular viewer, it won't stand out. But if you're like an animator on the episode, I don't know how they missed this one. Anyways though, roll the clip. Hey Squidward, this ladder is adjustable. Do you want to go higher? I love you all, too. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Ciao, Bella! I die! <laughs> oh, it's too high, Patrick! Crank it down! <laughs> huh? What was that? <laughs> So take a look at this shot of Patrick's house right here. As you can see, there's always this weather vane on top of Patrick's house right here. To be completely honest with you guys, before making this video, I didn't know what a weather vane was, but it's like this arrow thing right on top of Patrick's rock home. Well, in Swimming Fools, when Squidward screams as he dives down with the diving board, take a look as the weather vane on top of Patrick's house is just gone. Poof. It's completely missing. And again, as you can see in this shot, another shot of Patrick's house, it should be right there. Also, just saying, not that big of a deal, but take a look at this clip from Naughty Nautical Neighbors real fast, and take a look at SpongeBob's backyard. Yeah, our boy Spongebob has a garage in the back of his house. To be fair, that episode is from like season two or three, so I mean, things could have changed, but I think that was just a continuity error. And here's more. Let's head over to another episode, baby. Let's go. Is this the line for Spongebob's party? Oh, yes. I brought the birthday cake. It's gone. Oh, no. It's still here. <laughs> Do me a favor, Slappy. When we're inside, stay away from me. So guys, what if I told you today was SpongeBob's birthday? Well, I'd be lying, but the episode SpongeBob's birthday blowout is all about that, SpongeBob's birthday. It's a heartwarming episode. Take a look at some of these heartwarming moments. What? Today? My birthday? Oh, wow, Gary. Did you make me this jellyfishing night yourself? A surprise party for me! Oh, thank you, everybody. You've made this the best birthday I ever had. My spongy heart is bursting with joy, because I know I have the love of my pet Gary, and my family, and I have the love of my friends. 
from your biggest fan. Ah, surprise! <laughs> it's Patchy the Pirate. Happy birthday, SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, thank you, Patchy. Uh, no. oh. <laughs> okay, here's the mistakes. What you guys actually clicked on the video for. Some spicy mistakes. Squidward puddle on your side of the line! Oh, yeah! Looks like the party wars are just beginning! Come, come, come. So remember this mistake from earlier on in the video when Sandy throws the building and it gets cut off like too early? It's supposed to go off screen and get cut off, but it happens like way too early. Well, this same thing happens to Plankton during this scene, as if you watch Plankton's popcorn box, it's actually cut off before it goes off screen. You could tell that was not supposed to happen yet, and it's totally a mistake. And there's another one in this episode, surprise, surprise. This one though, you guys should be able to catch it, and here's a little hint, it has to do with Pearl and her clothing. All right, watch this. Hey, everybody! Dance party! So this scene right here where Pearl dances with Mr. Krabs, she's got some nice moves. The P on Pearl's shirt is colored white instead of purple. I guess it isn't that big of a deal, but normally it's purple like this. You can see in other episodes, but in this one shot, it's white. And uh, yeah, that's incorrect. Desperate times call for desperate measures. What the? <laughs> All right, let's talk about some modern SpongeBob. Our next mistake can be found in season 12. The episode is Knock Knock Who's There. Now I'm gonna be real, this is not a fan favorite episode amongst SpongeBob fans. As a matter of fact, SpongeBob fans really just think this episode's pointless. I agree. Here are some scenes from this episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and then we'll get right into the mistake. I'm trusting you to take care of me house when I'm away. Do not open the door for any. One. I'm here for the fast food founding fathers convention. That'll be 10 cents entrance fee. Ah! 10 cents? That's a ripoff. I'm going home. Bye, Bob. Open up. I forgot my keys. Who is it? It's me, Mr. Krabs. Open up, boy. You can't be Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs is at a convention, and he said not to open the door for anyone. But Open up! I mean, the episode has some funny moments, it's just the plot is kind of a waste of a time, which is why it isn't surprising that there is a mistake in this episode. I will admit though, this isn't really a mistake, it's more of like a continuity error. It's not that big of a deal, but it's still really funny. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Patrick, you gotta come over to Krabs' place! Someone's trying to break in! Please, hurry! <laughs> Patrick, what's that pink clown doing here? Great horn spoon! How's he doing that? Thank goodness you don't have any bones, buddy. Nope. All blubber. Again, I'll kind of admit I'm pushing it with this one, guys. It's a cartoon, so this is just cartoon logic, but it still technically is a continuity mistake. As SpongeBob at one point in Knock Knock Who's There says to Patrick, thank goodness you don't have any bones. But this is incorrect, as Patrick does have bones. We've seen it in numerous episodes. For example, this clip from Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 3, this clip from Suction Cup Symphony, and even this clip from the episode Don't Look Now. So yeah, dude does have bones. This was just a little continuity error and let's keep it moving to another mistake. It's gotta be completely smooth and tight. You made the bed with my old saggy skin. That's a pickle. But hey, 
No wrinkles! All right, let's switch up the flow a little bit. We're always talking about SpongeBob. Let's talk about the Patrick Star Show. And don't worry, guys, I'm gonna head right back over to SpongeBob after this. I know not everybody loves the Patrick Star Show, but anyways, the episode is home eek, and here's the first mistake. Reef Wellington! An A plus for you! <laughs> Next up, we have the... Uh... <laughs> Squidina's pickle pie. Aren't you gonna try it? You tried all my other projects. So this one is a blatant animation error, but when Squidina says, aren't you gonna try it, take a look at her arm as it's layered behind her sleeve. As you guys know, an arm is supposed to go through the sleeve, but in this one shot, her arm is behind the entire sleeve, which is just like a blatant mistake. And here's another one from this same episode. Your other project. project. <laughs> <laughs> in it. Excuse me? Huh? You've got something on your shirt. <laughs> Ready, please? This next one is just weird, dude, but when the teacher turns around to face Squidina in this scene, for about a frame, take a look at his tie, as the lines around it, like the outline, just randomly turn green. It's so weird, dude. It's just randomly green. What? Normally it looks like this, but then for one frame, it's green. Such a weird mistake. And here's another one from this episode. Three mistakes in one episode. Squidina, did you save me? How about we save Celebrate with some pickle pie! Is it safe? No! Don't eat it! Well, four out of five doctors can't be wrong! Tastes like an A plus! Wait, does this contain gluten? <laughs> Were you guys able to catch this one? Well, when the teacher asks Squidina about her finished pickle pie, that's disgusting, a pickle pie, that is seriously so gross. But anyways, as the teacher asks this, if you take a look at his hand, it's colored white for a frame. Well, it's more of like a light green or something like that, but it's not the right color. Normally his hands look like this, as you can see, but in this one, they're white. And yeah, that's another mistake. Three mistakes on one episode, that's a lot. Let's head over to another episode with even more mistakes. Oh. <laughs> if your kid is driving you crazy and you would rather be lazy, you'll watch your kids lots of dough. The Patrick Show is not responsible for viewer brain damage. Huh? Here's another one from the Patrick Star Show. I really do feel like this show is overrated. It's a bit of a weird spinoff. But anyways, here's the first mistake. Huh? Hey, where'd the babies go? The babies tied their diapers in to a rope and escaped! Watch out for that last one. It's mine. Ew! <gasps> <gasps> You're just playing in the neighbor's yard. <gasps> Okay, so this character right here is Incidental 41, okay? And he looks like this. Now in Patrick's Alley, we get this baby version of him. He's so adorable, I wanna pinch his cheeks. Now what's important is that Incidental 41's mouth right here, his mouth and lips are always purple, okay? Even in this episode, the baby version, we even see him with a purple mouth. But during this scene, when the babies are seen on the lawn, Incidental 41's mouth, well, baby Incidental 41's mouth, is awkwardly colored yellow randomly just for this scene. Like I said, it's purple throughout the episode, but in this one scene, it's yellow and that is incorrect. It's not a big deal. I mean, it's just a character's mouth, but yeah, this is a mistake. And there's another one in this episode. Welcome to the wild world of baby fishing. You want to use a tufted nappy? <laughs> We might have covered this one in the past, so I'm actually gonna keep it quick, but while Patrick and Squidina are fishing, there's one frame where Squidina's left eye is purple, the same color as her body. So totally a mistake here. And guys, there's more to come. Let's head over to another episode. Let's go now. 
Mr. Krabs. According to the nice man from the Labor Authority, it's time for your break, Poyo. We get breaks. You know, Mr. Krabs is a very strict boss. Like, all this dude cares about is money. And, you know, I don't think he cares about Squidward or SpongeBob too much. Well, fortunately, in the episode Break In, Mr. Krabs is forced to start giving SpongeBob a break at work. Wow, what a change. It makes for a good plot, I'll admit. But this episode does have two sneaky mistakes. Roll the footage. Employee break room? I never knew this was here. Oh, oh, it's beautiful! Like stepping through a portal into the magical realm beyond! Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Enjoy your carousel, my little hot dog friends. My break room band, Scrubby and the cleaning crew. Hmm. Let's see if I wired everything right. <laughs> All right, so right here is the break room, the room for taking breaks, I mean, obviously. And I want you to pay attention to this microwave right here, okay? This microwave. As if you pay attention throughout the episode, it keeps on randomly changing locations. First it's here, then it's here, it's all over the place. And I mean, I guess they could have moved the microwave around, but guys, this happens in a matter of like seconds or minutes, so I doubt it. The animators most likely just forgot that they put it here, you get it, blah, blah, blah. It's a funny mistake though, am I right? And Here's another one. Huh? Ooh, music! I didn't know the Krusty Krab had a lounge. Ooh. Oh, come on in, everyone. Try the funk. It's fresh. Where'd all me paying customers go? What the? Charging anyone for a party on me premises? <laughs> We might have covered this one in the past, so if so, I'm sorry guys, but if you watch closely here, when Mr. Krabs opens up the break room, there's actually two incidental 40s, when there should only be one. Incidental duplications or background character duplications happen sometimes, but this one's just blatant and they could have replaced the second incidental 40 with like any other incidental, so totally a mistake, but stay tuned guys as we're gonna head over to another episode with even more mistakes guys, stay tuned. Hey, buddy! The old pineapple is shipping out soon and they need more hands. Ah, uh, thanks, but I always get seasick. I wouldn't be caught dead on a ship. I'm so sorry to hear that. And last but not least is another fairly new episode of Spongebob, Dopey Dick. This episode only came out like two weeks ago and I actually really like the episode. But before we get into the mistakes, here are some really funny clips from this episode. It's so funny. <laughs> I be Captain Spongehab. I brought you all here for a special mission to hunt down the great white jellyfish, Dopey Dick. And if ye spot him, just give me a holler. <laughs> yes, just like that. Oh, Dopey Dick. Now, the mistake in this episode is very easy to miss. Like this one, I had to watch it a couple of times to actually catch it, okay? It's your guys' turn to catch it. Watch closely, here's the clip. Don't worry, I'll show ye the ropes. The big rope, the little rope, the smiley rope, and the licorice rope. Uh, 
Oh, again, it's very easy to miss, but after Pat Buck shows this version of Squidward, the smiley rope, take a look at the top of Squidward's head because it's cut off for a few frames. Like I'm gonna zoom in right here. You can see that there's still like the sky at the top and just a piece of the top of Squidward's head is just cut off. It's missing and that is a pretty bad mistake right there. Something tells me Mr. Wormsley is actually a Mrs. Wormsley. <gasps> oh, Patrick, it's a miracle. That it is. Next up is the season six episode, Pet or Pest. And this episode has three mistakes in it. So I'm just gonna get right into them. Here's the first mistake. Did you catch it on your own? Well, during this scene where this truck nearly like ends these worms, like these worms were about to be squished. If you look closely, there's no driver in the truck. Like this truck is moving and being driven, but there's no one in the driver's seat actually driving the truck. So this was a major mistake here. Like this was some laziness. And it doesn't end there for this episode. Here's the next mistake. 599, let's drink it away the last. These things are so cute. Enjoy your new home, little guy. That sure was a great idea you had, Mr. Krabs. Well, it's like they always say back in the old country, lad. What's that? I don't know. I've never been to the old country. This one is very, very, very easy to miss, and shout out to our editor, Josh, for finding it. But towards the ending of the episode, when SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs are selling the worms, one of SpongeBob's green holes turns red for less than a second. Again, it happens really fast, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but I mean, SpongeBob's holes are not supposed to be red, and I mean, Spongebob, if they worry, I need to go talk to the doctor about that one, because that's not very good. What also isn't very good, though, is the last mistake in this episode right here. Get ready, guys. This one is just embarrassing. Oh, well, at least I still have you guys. <laughs> What is it? It comes from a baby spotted glistening meadow worm the rarest of its species. Like I said, this one is really bad. So when SpongeBob is throwing out the worms, we see this blue fish approach right here and smell it, right? And what's really important here is we hear his voice, okay? Remember, he's blue. This is him right here. And he also has slime on his finger. You can see it right here. But when the scene changes, this fish changes colors. Like I said, he was blue and you see him put the slime on his fingers. But now when it flips, he's now green. He has the slime on his fingers. That's how we know it's the same fish. And he also has the same voice. So yeah, this was a major mix up here. First he was blue. We see him put the slime on his finger, but then when it switches, the slime is on the finger of a completely different fish and they have the same voice. So I know I'm kind of over explaining this one, just it's easy to kind of miss it. But yeah, this episode is full of mistakes, guys. And let's keep it moving over to another episode with more crazy mistakes. What is it about the third Wednesday of every month that makes Squidward so happy? <sighs> this almost makes the other 353 days worth living for. <laughs> Let's head over to Cephalopod Lodge, an episode from season six that I personally really like. Here's some funny clips from the episode. We're gonna get into the mistakes, but I don't want you guys to miss these clips. The episode is hilarious. <laughs> SpongeBob, Patrick, did you follow me here? No outsiders have witnessed this sacred initiation. You have desecrated the sanctity of this lodge. <laughs> they kicked me out of the cephalopod lodge. Do we get to join the lodge? Like I said, it's funny, right? Give the episode a chance, but baby, it is mistake time. Here's this episode's mistake. Let's see if you guys can catch it. Patrick and I have come up with a secret handshake. Patty cake, patty cake, 
Everybody knows patty cake. Not the way we do it. We don't use our pinkies. Okay, this one isn't that big of a deal, but SpongeBob and Patrick's secret handshake has them play patty cake without using their pinkies, right? This is something that they specify in the episode, as you could hear in the clips we just played. And remember this, guys, because it's important. When they play patty cake, they don't use their pinkies. Remember this. However, when they eventually demonstrate the handshake to Squidward in this scene, take a look. Yeah, as you've seen, they clearly used their pinkies, like their pinkies touch each other, despite the fact that they said they play patty cake without using their pinkies. So a bit of a mistake here, it's not that big of a deal, but let's head over to our last episode of today, which has a fairly bad mistake. Let's keep it moving. Here, take these rings. <sighs> And when you touch them together, you'll be instantly transformed into our duplicates. We're ready! Dude, these mistakes in the episode shuffleboarding are, like, baffling. Take a look at this first one. <laughs> That's the evil Man Ray! Hello, Man Ray! Who's your friend? I'd like you to meet Mabel. You handle Man Ray. I'll take care of his lackey. Ah, Mabel, that's it. Time for the spin cycle. You're all wet. You need to dry out. What? No! My head is dry clean only! Now, I don't know how the animators made this mistake, but when SpongeBob is turning the dryer over here to shrink, take a look at his arm because it's orange. As most of you know, SpongeBob's arms are yellow. They've been yellow since the first season, but I guess the animators made a little mistake with coloring here because dude's arm is orange. SpongeBob, you gotta go talk to a doctor about that, dude. It's supposed to be yellow. And that's not it for this episode, guys. Here's another mistake. This one is easy to miss, so I need the grapple gang. I need you guys to pay close attention. So take a look at these people falling down from the sky, all right? We can see this fish right here with red pants. Here, I'll even freeze and zoom in on him while he's mid-air. You can see him right here, and he's got his fresh red pants. Well, once this little dude lands on the ground, he just disappears. Take a look at the footage in slow motion. Literally, as he hits the ground, he just disappears. It's really funny. Talk about a bad mistake, and guys, this episode still has one more. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Well, our work is done here. Just like that fish with the red pants, SpongeBob and Patrick have a little situation with disappearing off of the screen. As when SpongeBob and Patrick walk away from the prison, just as it epically explodes, our boys suddenly disappear out of the screen. Rather than gradually disappearing like they would in other episodes, they just suddenly disappear and it's very abrupt. It's not that big of a deal. We've got some crazier mistakes coming up in the episode, so stay tuned, but it's still somewhat of a mistake. But yeah, let's keep it moving and head over to another episode. This is fantastic! I've never been baked before. I don't think I've ever seen a queen jellyfish either. Well, then you've probably never used a queen jellyfish call. Loser, loser. Hey, I've heard this call before. I'll bet you have. Here's a really quick mistake from SpongeBob season two. The episode is I'm your biggest fanatic. I love this episode. Here's the mistake, roll the footage. Your first test, catch. A jellyfish. Hey, I caught one! That doesn't count! Ouch! I meant 20 jellyfish! Oh, uh, let's see. One, two, three. <laughs> Am I in the jelly spiders now? No! Am I in the jelly spiders now? No! Now! No! No! 
This one is very easy to miss, but after Kevin's crown is stung by a jellyfish, if you look at one of his anchovy followers' eyes, yeah, one of the eyes disappears when the jellyfish swims by. It's just missing, and it looks really, really bad, so yeah. But let's keep it moving, guys. Let's keep the video going. Stay tuned for some spicy mistakes. No, your other bottom! Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? Not until four. Oh boy, another season three episode. I love season three, probably my favorite season in SpongeBob. And here's the mistake, keep those eyes peeled. The episode is I had an accident. SpongeBob, you ready to go sandboarding again? That accident made me realize that it's dangerous out there. I was one of the lucky ones. I'm a survivor. And so I've simply decided I am never leaving my house again. You saw what happened to me. And next time it won't just be my butt, it'll be my armpit or my forehead. Or your other armpit. Ain't you gonna get lonesome? I won't be lonesome. I've got all the friends I need right here. This is Penny. And Chip. And say hello to you, Napkin. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to go outside. Listen, I told you that I'm never leaving my house again. Chip, would you mind showing these two to the door? Thank you, Chip. Yeah, so I don't know how this happened. I don't know what was going on at the SpongeBob animation offices that day, but when Patrick closes SpongeBob's door, his arm goes right through it. And I don't think that's supposed to happen. What that looks like to me is an animation mistake. Hey, it happens. But yeah, we're gonna keep it moving and head over to another episode with some insane mistakes. But a quick reminder, make sure to subscribe as I respond to the comments of all subscribers. So right now, if you subscribe and comment, I'll for sure respond in the next two days. So do it. Click subscribe and comment right now, but let's head over to another episode. I hate it. It's trash. Ugh, the Bubble Bass Reviews Show. Welcome to the Bubble Bass Reviews Show, episode 674. Today's review, The Patrick Show. One of my favorite SpongeBob characters is Bubble Bass. I mean, this dude loves pickles and I like pickles, you know, so I like him. But he had an episode entirely dedicated to him recently on The Patrick Star Show. This episode is Bubble Bass Reviews, and it's hilarious, guys, because they make fun of, like, YouTube reviewers. They even make fun of Grapple at one point, I think, because they make fun of, like, mistake channels. But anyways, this episode has a mistake. Roll the footage. Look at this! Patrick's got a regular sea star hand! Three scenes later, he's got thumbs! Ugh, so enraging! <sighs> been watching your show, Bubble Bass. Yeah, we heard everything you said about us. <laughs> I can't believe it! My son is outdoors! Now you have to be a super fan to really catch this mistake because it's very subtle, but back in the episode Swamp Mates, we got to see Bubble Bass's room. And as you can see, the upstairs room is gray. Remember this as it's important, okay? This upstairs room in Bubble Bass's house is gray. But if you pay attention in Bubble Bass reviews, when Bubble Bass screams and runs upstairs, the upstairs room is now pink. Like what happened here? It used to be gray, now it's pink. I guess they could have repainted the room, but I don't think that would happen in a cartoon, guys. So kind of a mistake here. Don't worry, though. We're going to keep it moving and head over to another episode with even spicier mistakes. You will not believe it. Stay tuned. <laughs> A 
Up next is the season 12 SpongeBob episode, Dream Hoppers, which is interesting as the episode doesn't have any dialogue and it's like a silent film. So, you know, we just get animation and music. It's kind of cool. What isn't so cool about this episode, though, is the mistakes that it's hiding. And I know you guys haven't seen these before. Roll the footage. Did you catch it? Well, during this scene, as you can see, SpongeBob's night hat is green, okay? It's the same color as Patrick's. It actually looks kind of fresh, guys. SpongeBob be dripping. But here's the problem. When Squidward almost falls back asleep and the camera zooms out, SpongeBob's green nightcap now randomly turns pink to the exact same color as Squidward's night hat for a couple of frames. How did this happen? I don't know, but this is a pretty bad mistake. I don't know how the hat just changes color mid-scene, what? Hello, Squidward. <laughs> Squidward, it's me, Mini Squidward. What are you doing, SpongeBob? Season 4 Squidward is an interesting episode where SpongeBob makes a puppet version of Squidward that people like more than regular Squidward. I don't know about you guys, but that would really like upset me. That would cheese me, dude, if people liked a puppet version of Cartoon Cory more than real Cartoon Cory. But anyways, this episode has a mistake. Keep those eyes peeled, guys. I want you to spot this one without my help. Leave a comment on what the mistake is before I reveal it. Roll the footage. Are you ready for another fabulous day of work at the Krusty Krab? Of course I am. I love to work. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, sir. Can I take your order? Is this what the Krusty Krab calls friendly service? Sorry, sir. Can I take your order? I'll take eight dozen of your finest patties, please. But don't let old chowder pants over there touch him. He might taint the patties. Fine then, go ahead, do my work for me. So take a look at this shot of the inside of the Krusty Krab, okay? It looks like this. We've got Squidward's cash register right here. There's the order window where SpongeBob would give Squidward the Krabby Patties. And there's the door to Mr. Krabs' office, okay? It's a really big part of the inside of the Krusty Krab. Well, during this scene when Sandals over here is placing his order, both the door to Mr. Krabs' office and the window to the kitchen are missing. This is a really weird mistake to make. It seems the animators were just too lazy to draw something as simple as Mr. Krabs' door. And I mean, like, this window right here is so important. The door I get, but the window to the kitchen where SpongeBob literally pops out all the time. How did the animators miss that? But whatever, here's another mistake. Everybody dance! <laughs> was awful! <laughs> Take a look at this old geezer right here. This is Incidental 92, and as you can see throughout this episode, Squidward, and in a majority of other episodes Incidental 92's featured in, he is this like greenish color, okay? He's been other colors, but literally 90% of his appearances, he's been this green tone. Now, the mistake is that in Squidward, during this one shot, when Squidward is tweaking and snapping on mini Squidward over here, Incidental 92 is incorrectly colored as purple, which is just totally a mistake because as you guys see like literally early on in the episode the dude is green and then he just changes colors I don't know if that's possible he looks good purple but that's not how it works guys you can't just change the color of your skin in a matter of scenes so yeah a mistake let's keep this party going though guys and head over to our next episode Get your presents for everyone and put them under the pool. And we're all expecting better gifts this year, big brother. They better be awesome. <laughs> 
Hey, The Patrick Star Show is still technically SpongeBob, and the episode Just in Time for Christmas has two sneaky mistakes. I'm gonna show you guys the clips with audio. Let's see if you guys can spot the mistake on your own. Comment them. That kid stole my laser phaser. That kid stole my tattoo. He stealing. Ah! Hey, happy holidays, time travelers. Gifts for us? Oh, you didn't have to do that. Ah! It's what I always wanted. Thank you, Patrick. Okay, so for those who are new to the Patrick Star Show, this character right here, his name is Grandpat. And as you can guess, he's Patrick's grandfather, I mean obviously. And as you can see in this shot right here, he always rocks these fresh blue pants. He wears them all the time, even back in his debut episode. But during this one scene in Just In Time For Christmas, there is a major error revolving around his pants, as when Patrick gives this pterodactyl character a gift, the animators messed up big time, as Grandpat's pants blend in with the feathers of the pterodactyl, and they're the wrong color. Grandpat's pants are supposed to be blue, as I showed you, but in this one shot, they're like a reddish, like brown, and that is totally a mistake. A bad one, too. And there's more in this episode. Here's mistake number two. Ooh, it's an electric razor from the future, Dad. Hey! Wow! I hope it's not another chewed up candle. The dinosaur egg? I haven't had a pterodactyl omelet since I was a cave boy. Merry Christmas, Mom! <laughs> a new tattoo? <gasps> How did you know? <laughs> I love your gift, big brother. I'm calling him Maurice. I've already taught him a few tricks. <laughs> understand is where you got all the money to pay for these extravagant gifts. This one's a bit easier to miss, but when Squidina gives Maurice a treat, if you watch really closely and slow down the footage, the treat actually disappears for a frame before Maurice actually eats it. I'm showing the footage in slow motion and I'm circling it. And yeah, that treat just disappears. It poofs away, it goes bye-bye before it's actually eaten. So another mistake. Stay tuned though, guys. Let's head over to another cartoon episode with wild mistakes. I'll just put this in here for safekeeping. You hear, Plankton? Just and your other friends from the past. <laughs> SpongeBob season four definitely isn't my favorite season, but it isn't too bad, especially because Steven Hillenburg was still somewhat involved. Now, the episode we're gonna be talking about next is the episode New Leaf. Here are a bunch of funny clips from this episode before we get into the mistakes, just because I want you guys to see it. It's so funny. I surrender. I wonder what form of trickery is up that miniature Cyclops sleeve this time. Can't you see my peace offering? What is this? Don't you get it, Krabs? I give up. Let me show you something. Look at this place. Hi, hi Mini Plankton. You ever hear of spring cleaning? What's the point? That's why I've decided to quit the restaurant business altogether and turn the chum bucket into this. You want to turn your restaurant into a pile of junk? No! These are knickknacks. For the new gift shop I'm opening up? I, 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 Come on, this has got to be a joke. All right, let's get into the mistakes. Now, for this first one to make sense, I want you to take a look at this shot of Plankton. And I know it's kind of weird, but look inside his mouth. This is your hint for the mistake. Roll the clip. If there's one thing that is certain in this world, it's that you can't resist me formula. You know you want it. Thanks, but no. Did you say no? Well, if you don't believe me, that's your problem. I don't have a problem. You're the one with the problem. Look at this. It means nothing. It's on a facade, a hoax, a con, a front, a sham, a snow job. Look what you've done. This is my livelihood. And this isn't the formula that you don't want. Come on, eh? Yeah. 
So as you've seen before I played that clip, Plankton's mouth is normally red, okay? It's always red, the inside of his mouth, ever since like season one. But for some reason in this episode, I don't know what's going on, it's purple. It's never been purple before, and it's never been purple again. So whoever colored Plankton's mouth this time needs to go back and educate themselves on Spongebob because his mouth is supposed to be red. Anyways though, let's move over to another mistake. Roll the footage. I guess I really can trust you 100%. And just to prove it to you, I want you to have this. It's my secret formula. I can't believe you would even think. But things are different now. <sighs> yeah, baby! This is it! <laughs> This is just another strange one. So after Plankton opens the gotcha letter, Mr. Krabs bursts through the door of the chum bucket. And now it's important to note that normally the chum bucket's door looks like this. It's red with round windows, okay? Remember this. But when Mr. Krabs bursts through, the door is randomly transparent with rectangular knobs. It's never looked like this before. It's weird that they just changed the design of the doors to the chum bucket in this episode randomly. Like, this is an example of the type of stuff that happens in season four, five, and six. There's just no continuity, but whatever. Mistakes happen. A weird one, but hey, let's keep it moving. Jumpin' jellyfish, mermaid man! He's destroying the shield! SpongeBob, open up! What would the real mermaid man do? Why don't you ask him yourself? He and Barnacle Boy live in the retirement home on the other side of town. Hmm, they must be working undercover. Yeah. This next section is all about OG Spongebob, the classics. I'm talking about the very first Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episode. This episode makes me feel old because it came out so long ago. Here are some funny and hilarious clips from this episode because it's a really good one. Then we'll get into the mistakes. Roll the footage. Are you Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Well, we used to be, but now we're retired. Here comes the TV repair man. What do you want from us? Do you remember the time the food supply in Atlantis was running low? So you invented a ray gun that made things grow six times their size to shoot at the kelp gardens? What's your point, kid? You guys are the greatest heroes of all time, and I think you should come out of retirement. Listen up, you villains. I want to eat my meatloaf. If you don't get out of here, then by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife. You make... Kiss the bride! Now, one thing I missed, though, back when I was a kid watching this episode was the mistakes. Here's the first one. Oh, my. This purse is so big and heavy. I'll be taking that. Oh! Help! It's working. Why, are you here to rescue little old me? Down. This first one is weird, and it kind of took me a couple of seconds to realize that it was a mistake. So, at one point, SpongeBob hands Patrick his purse and peers out from behind the building. But when this happens, if you look, the purse can be seen floating beside him. He isn't actually holding it. The purse is just literally floating there. Like I said, it's a weird mistake. You guys might not be catching it. I'm going to zoom in. But that purse is just floating there. And yeah, talk about a weird mistake. And there's more. Here's another mistake mistake from this episode. Stop shouting out napping! It's not me, old coot! Oh, what did me? I said that I just listen to it once in a while instead of- Excuse me. Mermaid Man, we're almost done painting your invisible boat mobile. Ah, it's supposed to be invisible! We gotta end our life of leisure. It's time to come out of retirement. There's evil afoot. Where is it? There it is! This is another one that's easy to miss, but once you see it, you'll see it every time you re-watch the episode. 
as it seems that SpongeBob's pores are reversed when he says, excuse me, mermaid man. Normally, SpongeBob looks like this, and I want you to pay attention to the holes all over SpongeBob. Those are his pores. A lot of you know this, but to the younger viewers, pay attention to the holes. As you can see in this shot, they look like this. This is how they're supposed to look. But during this one scene in Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy 1, his pores are just reversed. Here's a side by side where you can see him normally, and then with the pores reversed, you can see it now. It looks pretty bad. Say our tearful farewells and solemn last words. Huh? I didn't make any money. <laughs> I never made anyone sick with envy. <laughs> I didn't get to sleep in this morning. <laughs> the season six episode, Truth or Square, is really cool. It's all about a Krusty Krab anniversary celebration that goes very wrong. But that's not the only thing that goes wrong in this episode. It also has a couple of mistakes. Here's the first one. kidding. I'm never gonna see Spongebob. Were you guys able to catch this one as it's pretty blatant? Like, I don't even know how the art team missed this one as it's right there. I mean, just look. When Spongebob says, are you okay in Patchy's dream, the right side of his pants is just like transparent. It's just see-through. They just didn't color it in. What? We cover a lot of mistakes on this channel, but mistakes like this are just bad, man. They're so blatant. And there's more. Here's mistake number two. Can you believe it's been 11 years already. Oh, I remember my first visit to the Krusty Krab. What do you think, baby? Would you like to eat here? So for this one to really hit, we need to go back to the very first episode of Spongebob ever, Help Wanted. As during this scene, it's confirmed that Spongebob's first ever words were, may I take your order? Here, take a look at this clip. I can't do this! I'm not good enough! Whose first words were, may I take your order? Mine were. Who made a spatula out of toothpicks and woodchuck? I did. Who's ready? I'm ready! Who's ready? Yeah, so as you just seen, canonically, it's kind of funny saying that because it's Spongebob and it's a cartoon, but in Spongebob canon, Spongebob's first words were, may I take your order? However, in the first flashback of Truth or Square, this episode from season six, Spongebob is seen shouting Krabby Patty and mmm yummy when he's an unborn sponge baby inside of his mother. So this is a total continuity error. Originally, Spongebob, when he was a baby, his first words were, may I take your order? But then they just change it in Truth or square, which is just kind of weird. Anyways, though, here's mistake number three. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Remember the day Sandy and I got married? We have gathered here today to join these two hearts in the bonds of love. I now pronounce you Sponge and Squirrel. <laughs> It happens fast, but hopefully you guys were able to catch it, as during the wedding play, when Sandy walks by this anchovy right here, said anchovy's eyes are just gone. Poof, they're just, they're missing. Where'd they go? I don't know how mistakes happen like this, but guys, we've got plenty of more. Let's head over to another episode. <laughs> Thankful I didn't turn you into gelato. <laughs> Good one, boss. Aw, no more patty whips. The Goob Father is a fairly good season 13 episode that only debuted like a week or two ago. Like this episode is fresh, boy, and I've got its biggest mistake. Roll the footage. <laughs> Boys, keep your eye open for anything worth sabotaging. Hey, you! Oh, me? Help swirl with extra sprinkles. Coming up, double K swirl and make it. 
<laughs> now I'm pretty sure that some of you guys were able to catch this one as it's a very classic style of a Spongebob mistake as during this scene where Spongebob makes an ice cream cone and gives it to somebody, take a look at our favorite sponge's teeth as they turn yellow for a single frame like dude go brush your teeth. This is a very common mistake in Spongebob and don't worry guys I've got lots of crazier mistakes coming up but there's actually another mistake in this scene as a small part of Spongebob's body is not colored in as you can see right here I'm zooming in two mistakes in one scene overall though the goop father is a good episode so go watch it but let's head over to another episode with more mistakes that you will not believe trust me Randy says the rodeos come to town I've got to head back to Texas and defend my championship title championship title for what you got cotton in your ears mm, no it's not cotton it's actually an old moldy piece of Krabby Patty oh. Up next is the Season 7 episode, Rodeo Days, an episode where Spongebob has to save Sandy, but what I'm gonna do is save you guys from watching the episode and just show you the mistakes. Here's the first one. Good morning! Sandy's in trouble, and I need all of your help to save her from the horrors of the rodeo! The next time you invite me to one of your slumber parties, I'm calling the cops! <laughs> So as you guys know, all of the bikini bottomites in Spongebob and Patrick and Squidward get stuck in this bubble that Spongebob's house is in. Now, at one point, we see Squidward walk to get out of Spongebob's house within the bubble. And as you can see, he's rocking these fresh pajamas, all right? Our boy is looking fresh. He's dripping. Look at those pajamas. But eventually, when Squidward falls out of the bubble, he now just magically has his typical clothes on. This would have been impossible because Squidward was like trapped in the bubble and he was wearing his pajamas as you can see here he wouldn't have been able to go to his house change come back in the bubble be trapped again and then fall out so this was a continuity error and there's more here's another mistake from this episode heart patrick do you hear something it's a letter for sandy all the way from texas we better deliver it sandy it's not opening. I have something that might help. How to open things. Brilliant, Patrick! Now, this one is very hard to catch. You gotta pay close attention, okay? But after SpongeBob says, it's not opening, there is a white spot that flashes for a split second under his right arm. Not that big of a deal, I'll admit, but it's still there and it's still a bit of an animation mistake. A very forgivable one, but hey, it's still a mistake. And guys, there's one more in this episode, but stay tuned as the next episode has a wild mistake. Watch out! That old bullfrog's got a flea on its flanks and he's coming right at you! Did we save Sandy? No, Patrick. We didn't. Did we make any money? This one is just like really funny, okay? So hear this one out. As we've seen in the episode, SpongeBob and all of these sea creatures are not able to breathe in Texas because they're sea creatures. They need to be in water or they die. I mean, we even see what happens to them in Tea at the Tree Dome with Sandy when SpongeBob and Patrick go in the tree dome without helmets. They like almost die. This is a big part of SpongeBob lore or canon, but if you watch the episode Rodeo Days, SpongeBob and all of the sea creatures, despite not being able to breathe in Texas just continue to live their lives normally as if there's nothing wrong. These guys would die. But anyways, let's head over to another episode, guys. These upcoming mistakes are going to blow your mind. Ah. <laughs> Coming in hot is another season 13 episode, Swimming Fools, which only premiered, I think, in the last month, so it's another fresh one. This episode's actually pretty good, so here, before we get into the mistakes, here's some hilarious clips from this episode. <laughs> I can't let them find me here. Oh, I can't wait to get wet. Hey, where's the pool toys? <laughs> oh, not the pool shed, not the pool shed, not the pool shed. They're in the pool shed, silly. You can pick first. Hmm. Which toy? Which toy? Which toy? I'll take this big, ugly one! Out of the way! Out of the way! No! I 
was the pool toy, you idiots! You know, I feel like season 13 needs some more praise. There's a lot of really good episodes in season 13. It isn't perfect, but Swimming Fools is a good one. It does have one mistake though. And I'll admit, this one's really easy to miss, but once you catch it, it's actually like a pretty bad mistake. I don't know how they missed it. If you're just a regular viewer, it won't stand out. But if you're like an animator on the episode, I don't know how they missed this one. Anyways though, roll the clip. Hey Squidward, this ladder is adjustable. Do you wanna go higher? I love you all, too. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Ciao, Bella! I die! <laughs> oh, it's too high, Patrick! Crank it down! <laughs> huh? What was that? <laughs> So take a look at this shot of Patrick's house right here. As you can see, there's always this weather vane on top of Patrick's house right here. To be completely honest with you guys, before making this video, I didn't know what a weather vane was, but it's like this arrow thing right on top of Patrick's rock home. Well, in Swimming Fools, when Squidward screams as he dives down with the diving board, take a look as the weather vane on top of Patrick's house is just gone. Oof. It's completely missing. And again, as you can see in this shot, another shot of Patrick's house, it should be right there. Also, just saying, not that big of a deal, but take a look at this clip from Naughty Nautical Neighbors real fast. And take a look at SpongeBob's backyard. Yeah, our boy Spongebob has a garage in the back of his house. To be fair, that episode is from like season two or three, so I mean, things could have changed, but I think that was just a continuity error. And here's more. Let's head over to another episode, baby. Let's go. Thanks, man. Here's 50 bucks. Oh, Betty never sells another. Hey, Ted, where'd you get that art? From that pink genius over there. I want to buy one. Me too. I also. I'll bet. Squidward, I think we should have a little talk about your gambling problem. SpongeBob season eight is kind of all over the place. I think there are some episodes that really stand out and are fan favorites, but there's a lot of episodes that aren't bad, but they just go under the radar. And the googly artiste is one of those episodes. Here, take a look at the plot. It's not bad, but let me know what you guys think in the comments and then we'll get to this episode's mistakes as it has three wild mistakes. We'll never make art like you and Squidward! <laughs> hey, don't be sad. I've done it! Yeah! Let's take a look. Behold! Uh, oh! Oh, it's beautiful! Holy guacamole for holies. It's so, so primitive and naive. You're a genius. You are a master artist, my friend. Like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments of the plot, the little plot summary we gave you there. But now it's time for the dirty, dirty mistakes, the spiciness, roll the footage. It's so obvious now. How did I not see it earlier? I know now what I must do. <laughs> Brilliant! This will turn the art world on its head! You did it, Patrick! And I'm gonna need more of those patty thingies! You got it, buddy! Yeah, I don't know if you guys caught that one, but in one frame, Incidental 107 over here, his mouth is just missing. And listen, Grapple Gang, okay? Mistakes where, like, somebody's lips or eyes are missing are very common in SpongeBob. They're very common in 2D animation in general. But this one is just bad. It is right there. Like, how could anybody miss this? I'm pretty sure as a kid, when I seen this on TV, I even caught this mistake because look, that is one blatant mistake and it is bad. And there's more, guys. Let's head over to mistake number two from this episode. May I take your order? I'm thinking about having a Krabby Patty. One Krabby Patty. But 
I'm wondering if that might be too predictable. So if we head back to SpongeBob season one, any episode where the Krusty Krab appears and we take a look at the galley grub menu, as you can see, Krabby Patty is spelt as K-R-A-B-B-Y P-A-T-T-Y. Okay, it's always been spelt like this. This is like very important. Well, when Patrick over here looks at the Krusty Krab menu and the googly artiste, take a look at Krabby Patty as Patty is just weirdly misspelt as P-A-T-T-I-E. That is not a thing. So I don't know what was going on with this one. Patty is P-A-T-T-Y, not P-A-T-T-I-E. Like what? Anyways, though, let's head over to another mistake from this episode. One for you. And one for you. And one for, uh... I've run out of rocks to put googly eyes on. I've run out of rocks. The artist needs a long time. He's so eccentric. For this next one, you have to really like hear me out and understand 2D animation for it to really hit. But while Harold says he's so eccentric, take a look at Norma's facial features. As it looks like her face is like nearly falling off. As a matter of fact, they seem to be slightly detached from her face. I'm zooming in here and again, I guess I could be overthinking this one. What do you guys think? I definitely think that this was a bit of a animation error, not a huge one. But girl's face is like literally sliding off of her and is detached attached dude go get that checked out like what's going on here imagine that happening to you guys your face just falling off anyways though let's head over to one more episode oh well it's just one day out of your life squiddy how bad could it be oh squidward <laughs> Let's kick things off with a fairly good episode from Spongebob Season 6. I'm talking about boating buddies. Here's the first mistake, roll the footage. Psst, Squidward, sit here. Here. Do you mind? Don't worry, Squidward, we're boating buddies now. There is no we. Understand? Quiet. In the front, please. Oh, I understand. I understand perfectly. Boating buddy. This first mistake is funny, as you can tell that the animators didn't think that we'd notice, but nah, Cartoon Cory has the eyes of a hawk. As during this classroom scene, when Mrs. Puff says, quiet in the front, please, take a look at SpongeBob's side belt through his desk, as his belt is missing, his pants are just brown, there should be his belt right there, but you can tell that because he was in the chair, the animators just were kind of lazy and didn't draw it, which I get, but hey, it's still a mistake, he should have his belt on, and Let's keep it moving. Here's an even crazier mistake, guys. Roll the footage. I am not your buddy. I don't need your help. And I don't need you ever. Um. <laughs> SpongeBob, I need your help. Two more minutes. SpongeBob, please. This is important. You said you didn't need my help, Squidward. I never said that. I don't need your help. And I don't need you! Jerk. So as you can see, in this scene where Squidward is talking to SpongeBob about him needing his help, Incidental 7 over here is pink, all right? She's pink, remember this, you can see her right here. However, in the very next shot, she just changes colors. First she was pink, but now she's purple. Hey, she looks good purple, but she's supposed to be pink, and I don't think people can just change the color of their skin in the middle of a cartoon episode. So this was another mistake here. I don't know what happened, but yeah, she's not supposed to be purple, she's supposed to be pink. Ink. Believe it or not, though, that's not it for this episode. Here's the third one. Oh, Squidward, it's you! I thought I heard something. SpongeBob, I will give you $5 if you let me enjoy the rest of my morning in peace. Squidward, you can have the $5 back. Mr. Krabs says I that... I don't care what Mr. Krabs says! I just want... <laughs> It happens back at the beginning of the episode, but when Squidward says, I don't care what Mr. Krabs says, SpongeBob leans backwards slightly, and if you look closely, his black belt, which is, you know, supposed to be black, turns white. It's not supposed to look like that. I mean, it looks cool, but it's not supposed to look like that. Three mistakes in one episode, sheesh. And that's not it, guys. Let's head over to another episode with even more mistakes. Stay tuned. You will not believe what's coming up. Woo! I made myself a sandwich. Woo! My mommy needs a friend. 
Next up, I have two really quick mistakes in the episode, Sing a Song of Patrick from season five. Here, let's see if you guys can catch this mistake. Take a look. And that was my new song. You know, it's not that bad. Yeah. At least it got that first terrible song out of our heads. So the mistake has to do with this incidental character right here, the iconic Fred. He's the one who's always going, my leg. Here's a quick clip. My leg! My leg! My leg! My leg! My leg! My leg! But yeah, this is Fred. And now here's the thing, guys. This mistake might not seem like that big of a deal at first because incidentals change colors and outfits all the time. But Fred actually has a lot of lines in this episode and the change is very abrupt. So as you can see, Fred is wearing brown pants and he wears this for a majority of the episode. But in one scene, his pants randomly change from these brown pants to these blue pants. And don't get me wrong, dude looks fresh in both pants, you know? They're fresh pants, but it's not supposed to be like that. He should be wearing brown pants the entire episode, but it's like the animators forgot that they drew him with brown pants and then changed it to blue pants. So a weird mistake. And that's not it for this episode. Here's mistake number two. Looks like Bikini Bottom is throwing a party and you know what a party needs. Music! Ooh. Turn it up, Patrick! It tastes like beef Where is bacon. that awful song coming from? <laughs> oh, we should sing him a song. Who's Responsible for that song on the radio! Why, he's right here! Let's get him, boys! This next one is easy to miss because it's more of an audio error. Audio errors are always like the worst in cartoons. But when Fred says, who's re, and it stops, right, from his line, who's responsible for that song on the radio, if you watch closely, Incidental 27's lips actually sync to what Fred's saying, despite the fact that Incidental 27 isn't saying anything. So it, there should be no lip syncing here from Incidental 27 because Fred is the one talking. So this one's kind of complicated, but let's keep it going and talk about more mistakes, guys. I'm saving the best one for last, so stay tuned. Ah, uh, German, hello? Ah, guten Morgen. My name is SpongeBob. Say what? Guten Morgen. My name is SpongeBob. Ich bin gekommen, um mein alter Heimat besuchen. Uh, please, would you speak in the English? I need to practice. Season 9's Sold is a fairly good episode all about SpongeBob and Patrick thinking that their houses have been sold. We're gonna get to the mistakes, don't worry, but seriously, this episode has some, like, really funny moments. Take a look. He shows up on television and buys your home and there's nothing you can do about it. Don't worry, Patrick. You can move in with me. We'll be roommates. I'm Nick Fishkins and I want to buy your home. Sold! Ah! Well, we might as well spend the night here. Now, what did you numbskulls do with the trash? Built the house. What the? Why? Because Nick Fishkins bought my home and then he bought SpongeBob's home. Ah! Oh. Ready for work, Mr. Krabs. Wait a minute. What's the matter with you, boy? You look like you slept in a pile of trash. A pile of trash house? Okay, 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 okay. It's time for the mistakes. It's what you guys clicked on. You guys want to see some spicy mistakes. So take a look at this. Poor Squidward. We should do something really nice for him. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Hey, is this the home of Squidward Tentacles? This place is a wreck. I'm Nick Fishkins, and I do not want to buy this home. Not sold. 
This one's actually similar to the first mistake we covered in today's video, as when SpongeBob and Patrick are done flipping Squidward's house upside down, the bottom right window of SpongeBob's house is missing. This is how SpongeBob's house has always looked. Take a look at this shot. As you can see, this bottom right window on his house is always supposed to be there. So where is it in this shot? That's another mistake. And don't worry, guys, we're going to move on to another episode. And the mistake isn't going to be about a window. This next mistake is going to be crazy. Trust me. Let's move on. I was sincerely hoping that today might finally be the day that- Yes, Eugene? Did I steal a little kiss? Come here, you. Oh, what a woman. Oh, Eugene. Now, I personally really like this next episode. I think it's like a solid episode in terms of modern SpongeBob, and that's Whirly Brains. An episode all about like a crazy toy, dude. I would never play with this toy personally. Here, I'm gonna show some clips really quickly. Would you guys play with this toy? Well, say goodbye to boring. And hello to Whirly Brains, the exciting new toy that puts you in the driver's seat of your own mind. Just flip your lid, attach the propeller, and watch your brain soar hundreds of feet into the air! Okay, Patrick, just let me flip your lid so I can attach the propeller directly to your brain. It's time to free our minds. I've never seen the world from this angle before. Okay, it's mistake time, all right? Enough about Whirly Brains toys. We're here for mistakes, and here's the first one. I want you guys to try and spot this one without me telling you. <laughs> This one is just really funny, but when this fish right here on the right, this incidental character right here, drinks his tea, the tea actually overlaps him. The tea should be going like into his mouth, but as you can see here, it's overlapping his mouth, guys, which in terms of 2D animation is not correct. For example, take a look at the pink or purple fish over here and how the glass is like touching their lips. That's how it should look. Not a big deal, but it's still a mistake, guys. It's still a mistake. And there's more. Take a look at this one right here. Hey, where's Squidward? I'm sure I saw him in here. Did you fall in? Squidward! Stop serenading me, you sap! It's my day off! Now go away! Oh, man! That's him! Hi, Squidward! So this one is a continuity error, as when Squidward sees Plankton's brain floating up and down, he screams out, aliens from Mars, while wearing his signature shirt. All right, look at him. He's looking fresh. He's looking dapper. But then literally in the next shot, like seconds later, guys, like a couple seconds later, he is now naked and not wearing a shirt, which, hey, zero complaints here. But if dude was wearing a t-shirt in this one shot, seconds later, he should still be wearing the t-shirt. Like, I highly doubt Squidward was so scared of Patrick's brain that he took his shirt off. So yeah, this was another mistake. And guys, let's keep the video moving. I've got more. Please, Mr. Doppler, don't send Drizzle to cloud heaven. That's just an expression. He's not going anywhere. Phew, that's a relief. I'm going to drop him in the sea humidifier and dissolve him. Ah! Dissolve him, what? Next up is another banger from season 12. This is actually one of my favorite season 12 episodes, Stormy Weather. It's a good one. This is like a nine out of 10 episode. Take a look at some of these clips. Well, okay, I don't see any clouds, so I'm just gonna take a walk. Oh, hello there. Oh, who's a cute cumulus? Um, a clarinet telephone. A fur chandelier. A lamp. A soup factory. Sorry. Okay, 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 okay. I know what you guys clicked on. It's mistakes. Here's the first mistake. For this one, only true fans are really gonna get it. Drizzle! Drizzle! 
There you are, Drizzle. <gasps> Gail Doppler! Oh, thanks for finding my lost pet, Mr. Doppler. Time to go home, Drizzle. I'm sorry, Square Face. This clown is a danger to the public, and I'm sending him straight to cloud heaven. <laughs> hey, Doppler. <laughs> You're not the only one who knows how to use a leaf blower, sucker. <sighs> like I said, you need to be a true fan for this one to really hit, all right? But if we go back to SpongeBob season one, literally the second episode is titled Reef Blower, and it's all about SpongeBob using this reef blower right here, okay? This is from season one, May 1st, 1999 is when the episode aired. Now the mistake is that in the episode Stormy Weather, for some reason, whenever the reef blower is brought up, it's referred to as a leaf blower, okay? A leaf blower. You're not the only one who knows how to use a leaf blower. Nah, this is a reef blower, and if you're a true SpongeBob fan, you know that, and whoever wrote this episode and wrote, like, the scripts should have known that themselves. I mean, seriously, there's an entire episode named after it, but whatever. Okay, here's another one, guys. One more mistake from this episode. What? Ah. Hmm. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, now don't be scared. SpongeBob no it's just what a growing storm cloud needs. This one's simple. So, when SpongeBob says SpongeBob knows just what a growing storm cloud needs, take a look at our dude's teeth as his white teeth turn yellow for an entire frame. I make this joke all the time, guys, but seriously, SpongeBob, go brush those teeth, my boy. That's gnarly. Imagine how bad his breath smells. Guys, that's going to do it for today's video, but if you want more SpongeBob mistakes, click this video right here, where I talk about tons of other SpongeBob mistakes. Some of them are even more amazing and just shocking than the ones you've seen in this video. So click it. This video right here, click it right now, and I'll see you over there at this other video. It'll be so much fun. Click it, and I'll bring you a Krabby Patty right now. Okay, bye.